I got my Sabbath box in the mail today that I ordered for um, Bon. And it reminded me that I didn't do my magic mail video this week. But it's like three days late. Three days late. Alright. I bent it. Go me. Alright, so Morgan made the announcement, so I don't feel bad saying this. <laughs> I didn't want to do the video until after she made the announcement. Um, Magic Mailbox is now changing to the Ink Goddess Creations box. And I am one of the 20 that got the new box. And it's so cute. Like, it has the new logo. It has all these neat little... Like, does anybody else want to get these tattooed? I have some hands already. I mean, I'm not opposed. <laughs> so. The Light and the Dark. As the wheel of the year turns towards the autumn equinox, the time when the day and the night are of equal length, our bodies, minds, and souls yearn for balance. Embrace your light and dark with the help of the items in this month's box. Selenite and black tourmaline necklace, which is super cool. And it goes into the box. Beautiful dual gemstone necklace to cleanse and protect. The contrast of the light stone and the dark stone adds balance to your energy field. It's on a 24 silver plated cobra chain. Balance soap. A blend of light florals and dark sandalwood and patchouli. To cleanse, balance, and activate charcoal swirl adds contrast to the light soap bar. And Actually, have a special place in the bathroom for those, so... Duality Votive, a sample votive of our new jar pillar candle with dark and light layers to help you cleanse away negative energy and attract positive energy. And there's a little card included. The dark is patchouli and myrrh, burn during the new moon to banish negative energy. The light is lavender and sage, burn during the full moon to cleanse, attract positive energy. It's this little... So somebody else was saying with these candles, I um, think maybe it was Candace on the Ink Goddess customers page that you could also burn the candle at the end of the year to clear out the negativity of the um, of the year in the past and then burn the white at the beginning of the year to celebrate the year to come. So, I thought that was a neat idea. Props to Candace. <laughs> a light in the shadows, black tea and coconut. I'm really excited about this because I love coconut. And it just got this in first. <laughs> oh, I skipped something, didn't I? I did. The light in the dark mini ritual kit designed to unite your light side with your dark side in harmony and balance. And I think in this kit it has, and I opened it, but I didn't. Has Sea salt and black salt co with coconut, coconut black salt. Little piece of parchment paper. Glass bottle. It feels like one of those cork bottles, but I'm afraid to unroll it because I'll break it if I unroll it before I'm ready to use it. And then it has little instructions there. Okay. Now. Back on track, and that goes in spell box. <laughs> I have a spot for everything. <laughs> um, I am me sticker designed by Morgan, owner of Ink Goddess Creations, as an inspirational message to always keep in mind. And there it is. Boing. I am me, light, dark, rooted in the earth. I can't read it backwards, I'm sorry. Able to reach the stars, harmony and, harmony and chaos. <laughs> it's really nifty. It's probably gonna go on my laptop. That's like the safest place to put stickers right now. <laughs> and a little note from Morgan, letting me know that I was, you know, that they're starting the new adventure with the magic mail and transforming it into the Ink Goddess box. So that's in the bottom of my box coming October 2018. This is what it says. 
When we started Magic Mail two and a half years ago, we had no idea how quickly it would become one of the best-selling top-rated witchy subscription boxes on the market. Ink Goddess Creations has become a household name in the metaphysical community, and because of this, we have been guided to bring our brand full circle. Magic Mail will be transforming into the Ink Goddess Creation box, starting with the October's box. Everything you love will stay the same. The concept, the quality, the price, design, and customer service. We want to thank everyone for their support these past years and hope that you are ex as excited about this journey as we are. Blessings, Morgan and the Ink Goddess Creations family. Okay. And I always like these little things. The musing of the month. They're my favorites. I really like these little cards. I'm just saying. Magical musing of the month. September 21st marks the pagan Sabbath of Mabon. That's the box I just got in the mail today that reminded me to do this video. The second harvest of the year and the autumn equinox. Mabon is the perfect time to clean out physically and metaphysically what is no longer needed so you can begin the descent into the dark months. Celebrate the harvest and stock your home and yourself with supplies needed to get through the winter back to the light side of the wheel of the year. And then, ah, okay, next month's box. My favorite is always to not tell, but I think I've already told someone. So, thank you for your magic mail purchase this month. Here's your early access to next month's Ink Goddess Creations theme. I'm going to cover it. See the little candles and the little herbs. And there's a little pendulum. <laughs> it's spellcrafting. So, um, that's it. And we'll see you next month.